video number seven. We're almost there. A few last steps. So we're going to. Um, we finished off uh, the fan and this um, kind of like leafy medallion in our last video, and these last bits and pieces. And now what we're going to do is we're going to do our Mistress Twilight's face. We're going to do the sword, and we're going to do the background. So with faces, um, it's always a challenge. Um, I know that. I also do um, struggle with it a bit sometimes. There are a few things that I always do. So for um, kind of like the shading, the shadow on the face, I like to just put a very light either layer of blue or green. And this one I'm going to use, it just depends on the picture. This one is the green. I'm using the light yellow green. Um, to just bring this in, it's amazing. It creates quite an interesting contrast. So just very lightly where, um, where we can see there is already some shading. So just a little bit like that. I mean, you can hardly see it, just a little bit over there. And then the second thing that I always do is I always put yellow as the base layer, no big surprise there, um, for the skin tone. I find that it really does warm the, warm the face up. So we're going to use the cadmium um, lemon yellow and we're going to put a light layer um, of yellow all over. I also wanted to, for this one, wanted to have on the sides of her face the, like, really reflection of the brilliant light, the sun, and, well, not the sun, but, like, really brilliant light, so we can add a little bit more down the sides there, and then um, just put in the colour. Very, very, very light, actually, everywhere else. Yeah? Then two colours that we're going to use, these are my go-to colours for doing flesh, is um, Light Flesh, which is number 132, and its best friend is number 189, Cinnamon. So I find that these two colours work really well together. I'm just going to turn this a bit. Okay, so with the Light Flesh working into all the areas now, uh, where we've already been, but working over the yellow and a little bit of the green there where we've got some shadow. Try and do this from this angle as well. Not forgetting the bottom of the face. Luckily this is a tiny face. Thank you, Bennett. For such a small face. <laughs> Just turn this around. Now, there we go. And then adding the cinnamon, which you can see it's my favorite, one of my favorite colors. It's so teeny tiny. Um, working into these shaded areas now. Darker around the edges, obviously. I'm just outlining very slightly the area around the mouth. Sorry. Starting to look good. And then as we get closer, further away from the from the shading going lighter. I do find as well, you know, with um, doing skin tones that one really has to, you have to do a bit and come back and do a bit more, uh, maybe a little bit light, uh, kind of a bit cautious in a way. But we want to also make sure that we have this lovely um, kind of like band of light that goes um, down the centre. For um, the most imp one of the most important things, obviously, with doing faces in the eyes is making sure that you leave that white dot. So uh, try to do that. And I've just put a very light layer of um, kind of blue here for the eyeshadow. And then we'll use the cobalt blue greenish to just put in the detail of the definition there on the side. This face is very, very small. Um, 
What is very handy and what does work very well with the eyes is to just add like a tiny little bit of pink here. Mm, it's even too much. Um, just on the inside of the eye. Mm, like that. Just put it on top there. One must be careful not to give our person um, pink eye. And then just adding in the lips over here. I think it looks okay. And then with this, you know, also you might have to just go back and add a little bit darker here or a bit more of this or a bit less of that. But I think that looks okay. I'm happy with that. I even go and add a bit more yellow afterwards now because you really want to kind of capture the glow of light down the side of her face, which is quite cool. And we've got a nice band of light down the, down the front of the face, so it kind of gives it that sense of dimension. Um, for the sword, what we're going to do is we are going to use the light phthalo green and basically just colour very lightly over everything. Um, we're going to make it like a blue metal sword kind of thing, so putting that in first. Just a teeny bit of colour. Just a bit more down the sides here. See, I made a mistake over there. Look, yellow all over my sword, but it doesn't matter with the base layer. So just putting in some color in for now, which we're gonna work on top of. Down the middle as well. Okay, then using, um, we're going to use the Delft Blue to make this darker down the side here. On both sides. Getting a gradual effect as we go down. So darker at the top and then going lighter at the bottom. And then working in here as well with the darker blue. I'm concentrating very hard. But <laughs> okay. down the middle piece here as well, our darker colour, and then as we go down, so they're kind of in line with each other, we start to lift the pencil to get you know, a lighter grading of colour. Just a bit of bottom here as well. Okay, then with the yellow, starting from the top, putting in quite a bit of colour. Quite strong. So we already have a very light layer of the fellow green underneath us and you can see that going from the top to the bottom I've left kind of you know towards the end here where there's not really a lot of colour so that we, we, we get some light. Using the orange we're going to start off with the, the orange glaze. I'm going to pick up and just put this in here. and getting gradually lighter as we move away from the top. 
and then picking this up again at the bottom as well. And then just a smidgen of color with um, the darker orange, which this one is the light cadmium red. Just putting in some detail over here. Some nice contrast with the light. Just a bit of the bottom. So then what I've tried to do here with the sword is to make it so that the, the blade is basically reflecting all the colors of the sunset. So we've got this continuation going through. And then again with the yellow to blend everything together um, and to just smooth it all out. This is also one of those things you, you know, you need to go with your, you know, again after add in you know, faff and fiddle, see how it works out and how it's looking and where you feel that you need to just add a little bit more colour. So here we go, I've added some more dark. Let's just come down here as well. Okay. Okay, so that's the, bo that's the blade and then what we're going to do is just finish off the top here. Um, I'm going to use the yellow to do the gem and to bring in some nice lovely shine over here. Those of you who've done one of these tutorials with me before know that I'm a yellow freak. So I'm not going to disappoint you, that's one thing I can tell you. We're going to get out our yellow pencil just now, we're going to create magic on the page. Okay, so just a little bit of detail there, you know, to... Give our gem some shine. Okay, so that's that. Then what we didn't really finish off doing um, when we did them was the gloves. So I want to do that with you now as well. Um, we did orange down the side here and a very, very light layer of, I think, the green, the light yellow green when we did it. We need to go in with our yellow now and add in um, some lovely, like, high contrast in colour. We're going to go work in there. Finish that off a bit. And then go again with the with the fellow green and um, and add in the detail here. Just pick it up so that you've got a very lovely contrast that goes like from this green with a bit of yellow into the orange of the other side. It's quite interesting here. Yeah? You know, just using all the colours we've used to tie everything and just bring it all together. That's one thing I think that does help as well is if you don't use too many variations of colour. If you keep using the same colours, then um, whoops, I must have a little tiny place there. Then you'll find that your picture is actually quite balanced, you know. Got a fistful of pencils that you can't see in the other hand. I'm like navigating all of this at the moment. Okay, so there we go, that's that. And the thing that we're going to do now is we're going to do the background. So, um, I, I, I think this is quite fun. This is how I do this. I don't know how, you know, if you do it the same way. But what we're going to do because, um, is we're going to do smudging, like kind of rubbing. And the way that I like to do that is, um, I just sharpen my pencil, like nice and sharp, and get all the, um, you know, get all the pencil shavings and I start like just positioning them on the page. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go with yellow into all this white space and we're going to rub it all in. 
I love doing this. Um, I think the yellow at the bottom here works quite nicely. It like picks up the very, very edge of the, you know, like the last of the light. I hope you can see what I'm doing. So quite rough, but just, you know, going all over and filling in and um, just going all over our lovely night sky. Adding in the yellow. I think if it didn't have a heavy yellow in it, it wouldn't be by sand, that's for sure. Yellow is the most magical color for me. Okay, so like that. And then, um, sorry, this is quite busy and messy. The next thing is to go and put in, to make the dark darker. So we're going to use um, the Delft Blue because it's a lovely blue-purple colour and do exactly the same thing. So placing, this is just how I do it, placing the colour down the side here as well and at the bottom. Uh, just need a little bit more for here. And where the, you know, where the dark, like the night sky is, I think it can go quite dark. And I, I was quite amazed when I did this the first time to discover that um, even if you go over all the white stars, that they actually do still shine through. So that's great, but we're going to deal with those just now as well. So really trying to change the colour here. I mean, this is like we have to go quite dark to change it from the black and to give it this lovely, um, you know, a deep, blue purple colour. Go over and over and over and make it nice and dark. I want to see black. I want to see purple. So you can just move your colour around on the page. to where I want them to be, like that, and then here on the top as well. Really, really just trying to get rid of as much black as possible, change the colour into this lovely purple. If I take a couple of rounds, I'm just going to blow this, just get it all away. Then, um, because we, you know, we've done our whole twilight sky, sunset and all that, I thought that it would make sense that we would have to add in some orange. Now, I mean, as for this, this is really very, um, you know, I kind of thought closest to the horizon, you know, we'll try and put the orange, just like a smattering of it maybe over here. Um, and just blending it in over the yellow. Tiny little tad there just starts to bring the sky alive. It looks quite amazing, I think. Okay, yeah, so that's a little bit of orange. Bit of green works here. If you look at the sunset, you'll always see there's always that like flash of green. So I'm going to add this here down at the bottom and a little bit in the top here just to give it some contrast. So that looks cool. Just work this in here. I want the colors to still be light and airy. But definitely so that you can see them, the variation in the colours. So that's kind of the effect that we're going for. I love these bits of orange. I think they they really are quite magical. Um, you can also, once you've done this, you know, you can go with your pencil and go and colour you know, into these areas if you want to to make them darker, but I find that it really the easiest way to do it is to do this smudging. 
And then once you've done all of that, I've just taken, um, like this is just, you know, any old gel pen. And then you can go, you know, you can go over and, and add in your white dots to make them look whiter. Um, you don't have to, if you don't have a gel pen, don't worry about it. It's really not a, you know, it's not an essential. And you can just carry on and, and, and do a million dots. Um, so that's kind of the background. The one thing that um, I wanted to suggest as well is that once you, there are two things really that, that I, I want to suggest that you do when you're pretty much finished. Is the one is to go with the yellow pencil and to pretty much like go almost like over everything. Um, I'll just use an example over here. Using the yellow pencil as a, it works very, very well as a blender and it adds an amazing brightness to um, to the areas that you've colored. So you can see already there, I've done this side compared to that side. So you can go everywhere, I mean, there's no rule as well and just, you know, add in a bit of yellow, it will give everything a lovely zing. And the opposite thing of that is to go with your darker pencil. Um, this mauve is a very good idea, purple works really well as, as um, as a color for adding in very, very strong like shadow colors and contrast. And go with your pencil and go and find all the little bits where you could maybe just add, you know, a little bit more definition. Um, by now you would have looked at your picture away from you and close to you a lot of times, so you'll have a much better sense of what's actually going on. And then to just go and basically finish it off, you know. You might, this, this has been, I think quite a, um, a challenging image to color because it hasn't been just about, oh, you know, start over here, color this area, you know, yellow and color over it with orange, for example. We've really, we've worked with multiple colors, doing layers, building the color up, you know, from the, lot, from the lighter, sorry, through to the darkest. Um, so, You, you know, I'm sure you, you're getting more of a feel for it as you've gone along, and this is your really your chance to just then go and finish um, and finish everything off and off, add those last bits of contrast. And if you you know you'll look and see, oh yeah, you know I can put a little bit more pink here that will work if we you know we add a bit more in like that. And that's pretty much how I do it. You know, um, I, you know I, th I think still you know you could add more blue in here, different color blue. Um, to give your night sky, um, you know, more depth and, and all of that. That pretty much wraps it all up. This is the end. This is, um, this is what we've done. I hope you've really enjoyed doing this tutorial and that it's been a fantastic learning experience for you, that you've maybe picked up a couple of tips um, that you haven't done before and that you feel quite shocked with yourself to do something that maybe you didn't think that you could do. As always, thank you very much um, for watching the videos, taking the time to watch them, for joining in on the group, and um, a huge shout out to Bennett for our absolutely the amazing artwork and images that he does for us. Thanks everyone, take care and ciao for now.